Welcome back, peeps. Thank you for tuning in the Band of Bros channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at five tips that will make you win or improve your game style in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone mode. All right, most of these, tr these trips do apply for plunder, but mostly we will be talking about the battle royale setting of this game all right so let's jump right into it so starting off with tip number one we're going to be talking about ammo boxes all right so maybe a lot of you guys don't know but there is actually a lot of ammo boxes around the map that you can actually find so you guys can see right now in the map i will be showing you guys the exact location of one of them these are the ammunition stores so that's how they look from the outside they are basically like the guns in ammo locations uh they're a two-story a small building and they actually provide a pretty good place to cover yourself up so once you go in there you are going to be going into the uh into the bottom floor into the little corner and as you guys can see here there will be the refill ammo place so so these things actually come from ground war so a lot of the ground war buildings that you guys see will also be in here which is a multiplayer mode as you guys can see this will not replenish your grenades or your claymores but it will replenish your ammunition as many times as you want next up we're going to be going into the self revive so tip number two is going to be self revive not talking about just buying it and using it self revive can actually be used to your advantage without using self revive so for example you get down and your teammate is around you right he can get you and you've got self revive so what you start doing is you start using your self revive and the little bar starts healing up once your partner is about to hear you or he's pretty close to you you stop using the self revive once your partner gets to you and he starts healing you, that self revive bar will be left off where you finish. So for example, if you were about three quarters self healing yourself and your partner comes and he starts healing you, he's only going to have one quarter remaining to heal you. What does this mean? This means that you won't use your self healing and that your self revive and your teammate will be able to pick you up a lot faster. Next up, we're going to go into the zigzag tips and tricks. So always when you can try to run in zigzag so you don't get sniped that easy so here i got my buddy and i'm gonna be in the tower right pretending i'm a sniper he's gonna be running into a straight line going towards that building as you guys can see if you're running into a straight line it's pretty easy to snipe you even if you jump it's pretty easy to snipe you this doesn't mean obviously when when you've got um when you know there's enemies you know usually you you do zigzag around but just in general terms you know even if you're going into a building and you don't think there is anybody as you guys can see this guy right here we got an enemy right in front of us which he kind of got in the way while doing our video and he's not moving anything look how easy it is going to be for me to headshot him and take him out i mean it is going to be insanely easy so just a tip when you guys are running into the building even though if you don't think there's anybody in there you may never know when there's a camper so now my friend what he's going to do he's going to do the opposite and he's going to do zigzag um just so you guys can compare the difference and you're going to see in my scope that it's going to be a lot harder for me to lock on my friend when he's going to be running in zigzag as you guys can see here it's going to be a lot harder for me to judge the distance of the bullet and it's going to be a lot harder to see and test how hard it is going to be for me to shoot him and as you guys can see right there is definitely a lot harder especially if he starts zigzagging there and i'm gonna miss a lot more shots so just in general always try to zigzag instead of running in a straight line now let's jump into tip number five try and use a dark skin or a ghillie suit all right so this what i mean for, by this is you can go into your operator and you can change the way you look and you can basically make your operator you can make him into a ghillie suit you can get the new ones that you get in the dlc pass the one that my friend has is a dark skin which is the ghost skin that has a white mask but as you guys can see even from aiming with that sniper it is really really hard to detect him so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be like if i'm an enemy right just just kind of passing by and keeping the the tree to my left as a viewing angle but not being able to i i can't really see him as you guys can see maybe his gun is a little bit bright but in terms of everything else, it's going to be a lot harder for me to see him when he's got a dark skin on him. Definitely, obviously, if he doesn't have his name on top of him, right, if he's an enemy, it's definitely going to be a lot harder to see him. Again, what I would recommend you as well is using a weapon skin that is also pretty dark. So when you go and hide in there, it's going to be a lot harder to see. So just in general, remember, always try and use a dark skin to your advantage just so you can blend into the environment. Now let's jump into tip number five. 
And for the last and one of the most important tips in this video is going to be number five, which is try to use the monolithic suppressor on your weapons to increase range and most importantly, stay hidden from the enemy. So let's jump into my HDR Battle Royale class, which is going to be this one right here. Let's jump into Gus Gunsmith and the monolithic suppressor is going to be in your muscle. All right, this is going to do two, two very important things, which I already mentioned. Number one is going to give you sound suppression. I did test this in game and I mean, it is insane the difference on how you can hear the, the sniper fired without any suppression, without any suppressor and then fired with a monolithic suppressor. And the difference is insane. All right. I did have everything recorded, but there was some issue with the, uh, with the sound. So that's why I don't have it on here, unfortunately, but do trust my word for it. Second is going to increase the damage range by a lot. So you guys can see there the accuracy and the range increases, and it does take a little bit away of that aim down sight speed and that aim walk steadiness so it's gonna make your gun a little bit slower so if you do uh, th throw if you do slap the monolithic suppressor on your gun go ahead and add the tack laser to your HDR and add the FTAC stalker scout as well this doesn't only apply to snipers if you are an AR kind of person uh, let's jump into this one right here the ARs also have it here in the muzzle the monolithic suppressor just do be aware that since this attachment is really really overpowered um, it is gonna be the last attachment that you unlock in the muzzle and it does take quite a bit. Um, as you guys can see, this uh, my assault rifle is level 65. My HDR is level 37. So it does take a little bit of time to get unlocked this weapon, all right? Just, so just do be aware of this one. You do have to use this weapon for quite a bit of time to unlock it. But once you do unlock it, do slap it in there because the sound difference is going to be insane. And it's also going to give you that extra range, especially in a game so important like Warzone, where most of the battles are long range battles. So now, thank you everybody for tuning in. I do appreciate it. If you got some extra tips and tips, tips and tricks that you think are pretty good do comment in down below in the comment section if you did enjoy the video please like it and subscribe if you'd like to see more thank you for tuning in peace out and i'll see you all in the next one